Oh, what a shocker, eh? The kids didn't get a day off on Christmas. We knew they wouldn't though, didn't we? We got the ginger ringmaster in the middle, shoving a camera in the kids' faces while they pretend to be excited. I say pretend because they already know what they've got. The kids from school saw we're on YouTube and told them. Poor Zoe in the background, she's not opening her presents because Alicia's bought her a load of games that she's already got. She's not bothered what she gives them as long as it's expensive. She doesn't give a shit. Alicia's just got up to get a tissue. Josh can't get it because he's pissed up on the couch already. It's the only way he can get through the day with Alicia. Now you just seen her wiping the little one's nose with a tissue. Are you? I was telling you that's what happened because I've had to blur it, obviously. And then in a minute, she's going to use the same tissue to wipe one of the other lad's noses. Absolutely fucking minging. No wonder they've all been ill. Now it's time for a shockity dockity haul. Bigger one uh, than normal because I didn't really grocery shop over a Christmas break. A bigger than normal haul? Is she taking the fucking piss? She bought enough to feed the 5,000 about a fucking week ago. I tell you somewhere else as well, she's not even mentioned those sandwiches. I wonder what fucking happened with them. I hope it comes out because I'm dying to know. Look at the state of that van. Absolutely rancid. Nah, there's no way that them butties went anywhere. They must have just gone in the bin because nobody would have fucking ate them. Dirty bitch. I thought this was a bit sus. She went in the um, the staff entrance like she normally does. But then she has to go and get the trolley from the normal entrance. She says it's because they didn't have any trolleys in the staff entrance. But I think somebody told her she needs to stop going in that way. I hope so anyway. I'm guessing from the amount of paper plates and napkins she bought that a New Year's resolution is to increase global warming. And she's doing a good job of it so far. I know she says about the septic tank, right? And that's why she has to have the paper plates. But what were the fucking napkins? She's a weird one, I tell you. Did you happen to see a nail just then on her thumb? Look at there. She got ripped off at the nail salon. Anyhow, she bought a shitload of cleaning stuff. Probably because of all the sticks she's been getting about a house being so fucking grim. So next she's buying this non-alcoholic wine or like fizzy grape juice for the kids. It just doesn't sit right with me, you know. These kids have had traumatic past with alcoholic parents. And most of them have got fetal alcohol syndrome. I just think it's a bit weird that she's glamorising drinking alcohol. Now she gets like 13 or 14 jars of pasta sauce. So either they're having a jar each or... She's planning another revolting spaghetti party. She did mention there's a few birthdays coming up, so maybe it is that. I hope not. Curled spaghetti and uncooked pasta meatballs. Served on a fungus infested table. is not a good birthday treat. Now she gets a year supply of this nauseating pots of gruel. I've never had it, but I imagine it tastes like prison food. But it still must be better than Alicia's cooking because she literally empties the shelves of it. If the kids would rather eat this shite than you cook and it's time to get some cooking lessons, Alicia. Here she's making a big deal of picking some toothpaste out what doesn't have whitener in it because apparently a dentist told her she's got swirly teeth. He never said that, did he, Alicia? You're a fucking dizzy donkey. Then she had a dig at the bio parents of the kids, saying they've all got manky teeth. A bit older, like they were already school age. Um, and so they came to us not brushing their teeth, like no dental hygiene care whatsoever. So, but they already have their adult teeth in. So now we try and like repair the years and years of no dental care. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to do this for a couple of them. So after this absolute scum of a parent discloses personal and private information about the kids' teeth and the personal hygiene and puts it on the internet so all the school bullies have ammunition for picking on the kids. After saying all that, she fills a fucking trolley with literally 100% sugar cereal and Pop-Tarts and snacks and sweets. I wish someone would give her a shake. You might as well be rubbing raw sugar on the teeth, you fucking wet wipe. And obviously because they've all got special dietary requirements because Alicia's told us that loads of times. She had to get them seven glazed donuts each for the breakfast. But don't worry, she made sure to get the ones with the most sugar and artificial sweetness in it. And the coloured sprinkles. 
Because, you know, she doesn't want to be unhealthy. And she's got to look after those teeth. <laughs> it always freaks me out when Alicia buys chicken. She treats her chickens with more love than she treats her kids. And it just feels a bit like cannibalism. Anyway, the video's getting a bit long. So I'll fast forward it a bit and tell you what she got. From the meat aisle, she got five cows, four sheep, three chickens and a llama. And then from the fish aisle, she bought half a whale and 2,000 shrimp. You guys, I came in this aisle to get coffee and I found it. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to try... She made a big fuss of this karma stuff. Do you reckon it's an next sponsor or what? Either that or she's going to mix it with vodka and pretend she's drinking water. God knows she needs the hydration. I'm not going to lie, I'm boring myself now. But I'll leave you with the face of this gorgeous twerp who just spent nearly two grand on groceries for a week. See you next time.